Hi folks, I'm here backstage at Symphony Hall again in between a Pops rehearsal and a concert as I was for the last video that I put up. <clears throat> and I'm here to talk about a question that I get asked a lot. And that is, how do you develop a really good clean legato on a trombone? And on the one hand, it's not that complicated. On the other hand, it's really a two-part exercise. And then we're going to handle the first part of this. The first thing that we really have to address is how we move the slide in between the notes. There's a common misconception that when you move your slide, um, we move our slide quickly to play fast, and we move our slide slowly to play slow or to play legato. And uh, there's a, actually a word people like to use, relax, a nice relaxed slide. And the issue with having a very relaxed slide is it actually promotes a very slow slide. Look at it this way. When we play legato, we're looking at notes that are, there's a note with a very small space followed by a note. And that's the way it should be. The spaces should be as small as we can make them. The smaller the spaces, the more connected the notes are. The more connected they are, the more legato it is. So that's how we approach it. Now, the way to practice it is simply to take away the tongue and see what your legato sounds like. In the case of a relaxed slide that, that lacks a certain amount of direction, what you can wind up taking to the extreme is um, a very glissando y kind of sound. A sound where you have a note followed by a glissando, followed by a note, followed by a big glissando, followed by a note. Case in point, Bordoni number three. I'll play that down the octave. <laughs> Smeary. When things are clean, when we move our slide according to two principles, number one, we want to move it directly, and number two, we want to move have a certain amount of flexibility. We want to think of flexibility because we don't want stiffness. We don't want it to be jerky, but we do want it to be direct. We don't want it to be loose because we want a certain amount of um, a certain amount of uh, stability in our wrist. But we also want to make sure that it's not stiff, because taken once again, taken to the other extreme, you wind up with a stiff slide. Here's a good flexible slide that's also very direct. <laughs> So we can make the notes, the less amount of time that the articulation takes, the better. That's part one.